छत्तीसगढ़ जब जब दहला विश्व हमारा जब जब दहला विश्व हमारा और जब जब बेमकसद खून बहा चीन रूस जापान सभी ने भारत को एक दूत कहा भारत को एक दूत कहा माय वॉम ग्रीटिंग्स टू डिग्नेटरीज आई एम माहरा खान फ्रॉम छत्तीसगढ़ एंड आई एम हियर टू स्पीक ऑन द टॉपिक ऑफ पीस बिल्डिंग एंड रिकनसिलियेशन अशरिंग इन द ईरा ऑफ नो वॉर Taking pride in India's history is one of the parch pranks given by the Prime Minister in the age of Amrit Kaul. And looking back at history, it is a proof that India has always been a harbinger of peace. No war does not mean that we have no reason to fight war. It only means that we give importance to peace by following values of compassion and forgiveness. It was the value of compassion that even after winning the war in Kalinga Samrat Ashok decided to never wage a war and spend his entire life to preach the message of peace to countries as far as Greece It was the value of forgiveness that even after the British sent our soldiers to world wars and our farmers to famines Mahatma Gandhi still chose ahimsa and satyagraha for independence taking inspiration from india nelson mandela also chose to forgive the apartheid regime in south africa my dear audience like this year's theme india for the world india not only preaches but also practices vasudev kutumbakam in india's g20 presidency we advocate for a multilateral world in which no one country dominates another country when china dominated indo pacific india rushed to help and support asean countries it acted east when sri lanka needed loans india was the first to give assurance to imf it showed that we believed in neighborhood first and when turkey syria were hit by deadly earthquakes india rushed for their aid it showed our brotherhood remember in 1945 after testing the first atomic bomb oppenheimer quoted from bhagavad gita now i have become death the destroyer of worlds and soon after that the bombings in hiroshima and nagasaki it was proved that the world does not need a war for peace but it only needs one war and that is the war against war itself exactly what mahatma gandhi used to preach hame yudh ke khilaf ek vastavik yudh ki zarurat hai and that's why all of us need to unite for one single cause of a planet earth the conflicts in west asia africa and the constant quest for world dominance between USA and China are doing no good for sustainable and equitable development and this is worse even in the post covid era something which we cannot afford and in this circumstance the world looks at india to find peaceful negotiation and conciliation in the midst of russian ukraine war as the voice of global south we believe that few rich countries which have caused maximum war and pollution in the last century should pay for their mistakes by helping and not holding back technologies from poor countries i understand that we might be divided by borders but we believe that our culture sports and ideas could unite us and in this condition the world looks at international solar alliance for a equitable solution to green energy transition our jawar bajra and ragi are being celebrated as superfoods in world today and the world looks at ayush for a healthy lifestyle my dear audience 
when one youth from naxal affected area of abujmar in chatisgarh can strive and participate in international football it inspires so many of us to strive for a home that is free of conflict and full of opportunities and growth in us in each of us lies immense ability to solve any internal or external conflicts through peace passion and compassion badhe chalo badhe chalo yahi nidaye waqt hai ye kainat ye zameen ye kehkasha ka rasta isi pe gamzan raho aman ki raah par chalo thank you so much